Okay, so we're here with Jeremiah Williams. Jeremiah Williams. Um, yeah, I'm from Collingswood, New Jersey, from the Oakland area, and I'm in the Class A section. Um, my read is like I have posted like 1981. So right now, um, this is like the final round. If I win, it's possible I can get some money. So we'll see what happens. Um, probably gonna be based on the expert, but you know, it's not too big of a challenge. I can't. All right, cool, cool, cool. And um, you know. How long have you been playing, Jeremiah? Um, this year, like in November of May, approximately 10 years since I've like, started tournament chess. I've played. My first tournament was uh, November 2004. I took a year off in 2005. And then from 2005 on, I was kind of more active from that point on. Very nice, very nice. And, um, you know, what, what do you like about chess the most? I mean, what, what keeps you into it? What keeps you interested? Well, I mean, technically speaking, it's like a childhood pastime. I mean, I didn't start playing the tournaments until I was like 21, but like that's something I pretty much played most of my life. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I've been playing for some time. I kind of want to, like, at the end of the day, when I get older, like, okay, this is what I have to show for. I want to have, right. like, you know, maybe some titles under my name as far as, like, master titles. Yeah, I have some club championships over in, you know, in South Jersey in my name, but I want it to be like at least like international master, maybe grandmaster or so. Cool. And I want to be the ones that be able to do it and hold a full time job too. So right, right, cool. It's cool, a little cool. different, more enterprising. Right, right, definitely, definitely. And um, is there a lot of chess in Jersey? Um, North Jersey probably has a lot more than South Jersey. I mean, it's a little bit here and there. So we have little groups in like Pittman, Woodbury. Mm -hmm. Um, I hear about stuff in Willing Girl, then you have Doug Gorman's thing that's just uh, came out in like the 40s, Cherry Hillary. So, I mean, it's kind of just starting. We have a little bit of Masters here and there, mostly like expert, class A, below, that type of thing. But then, of course, you have Philadelphia, where a lot of the big tournaments are. Like, you have the National Congress, uh, Liberty Bell. The World Open was there for some time, but, you know, it's going to probably come back in 2016. So. It's some, it's a little something there. Is Philadelphia, New York is probably the big, you know, where New York is really where like um, you have all these different schools, you have all these like grandmasters and stuff like that. I mean, even Philadelphia has like a um, the U.S. Chess League, so some of the, you know, so it's a little following there, but it's not as big like maybe like New York, Boston, San Francisco. And I hear about stuff in Miami. I don't know how big that is. So. Mm -hmm. And um, do you travel a lot to play in these tournaments? No, this was actually my first like real chess vacation. I mainly play locally, and sometimes I go to New York. I've been to uh, DC once for the Atlantic Open back in 2006, and I've been to Arlington not this year, but last year I went to play in the World Open. So I mean, I kind of do it yeah, off and on, but for the most part, I kind of stay. Mm -hmm. And. Um, how do you work on your game? I mean, what's uh, what's what's your technique for getting better? Well, I kind of evaluate my games. Like, I'm looking at this tournament. Um, this is probably my best tournament this year because this is not one of my better years. Last year was a lot better, but I'm looking at my performance of who I play, what I'm doing. Like, okay, I'll take my master games. Like, the first game, I played against a master. Pretty even game, got in time trouble, so, yeah, he, he did a better job. Second game, I was up a piece, but didn't come with the right strategy. And then the third game I played last night in Master. Um, a lot better position. I wouldn't say necessary outright winning, but if you have two bishops versus two knights. Mm -hmm. And but it's the rooks kinda keeping him in the game. So like there is a little inaccuracies there. So those are the type of things right now I'm thinking end game is probably where I probably my openings are decent. You know, I look at kind of evaluate who I play, how well I do, um, even if I win was there like quality of the win, not just like okay, I won, because like you can win and just play like crap and just. Right, <laughs> you know right, I mean? right. But I think that this tournament, like for the most part, like my first two games were really sloppy, but mm -hmm. after my third game, I, there were some really solid games. Really cool, really cool. And uh, what do you think of this tournament? I mean, how it was ran and you know the out the, the turnout that they had and you know the the players that you've seen here or, or, or played against. I mean. Well, What's, what's your impression of the, of the tournament I mean, I overall? hear a lot of good things about the U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I mean? So I figured, hey, why not, you know, get a chance. Maybe um, it's a noise here. <laughs> there are right, a few upsets. Right, we'll right. see what my last round is. But mm -hmm. um, 
I hear a lot about like, okay, so if you're the top dog, then you get to play in the U.S. Chess Championship, stuff like that. So you see a lot of the grandmasters there, mm -hmm. but it's a little different. I don't see like a lot of the main like people right, that you right. hear about a lot. Right. So it's a little like a little different. Right. Um, so I guess it's kind of more diverse. Cool. You know, this cool. year, I guess you know other people may have some other. Right. Know, all right. But it's still, I still think overall it's a good turnout. I like the setting here. It's really nice, very peaceful, relaxing, going to pool, crap at the same time, all kinds of stuff like there that. There you go, so. very good. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get a lot more kids involved in chess, or at least uh, down in, uh, in um, South Florida. Um, what do you think about that? I mean, uh, I don't know if you have any experience with that or... Um, you know, in Jersey, if they have a lot of kids playing chess or, or anything like that. But um, if if you haven't, then what do you think? Um, well, I mean, I'll look at it from would be a positive or you know impact on the kids um, playing chess and, and kind of developing in that area. You know, in terms of how it would help them out in in real life situations. And, and that well, sort of thing. I look at it as far as my parents. Like uh, mm -hmm. my dad used to play. He never was really like competitive tournament, but mm -hmm. you know, he still had a pretty decent game. Like they wanted us to learn how to play chess. Like I have two siblings too. Mm -hmm. um, they don't compete, but they have played in the past. So. Mm -hmm. The point that they were trying to make as far as teaching us how to play was to improve like critical thinking skills, evaluation, um, consequential thinking, which mm -hmm. I think is kind of lacking. Mm -hmm. um, whereas, okay, you know, as far as the decisions you make in life, okay, what happens next? Right. So when you kind of have that kind of mindset, yeah, you kind of make more concrete, more practical decisions in life. Um, that's what, from my experience, that's what I find to be true. Mm -hmm. So I definitely encourage it. Mm -hmm. um, at a young, the younger, um, the more ingrained, the more you're used to thinking that way, and right. the more concrete decisions, especially with those teenage years and right, right. those really like critical stages of life mm -hmm. between age, I'd say, with like 15 and 30, where your 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 decisions are going to affect the way the rest of your life is going to go. Right. So having that in kind of ingrained in you really gives you a distinct advantage. Very good. Very good. All righty. All right, thanks a lot, and um, we hope to see you again in, in one of these uh, local tournaments for us, at least. Um, and uh, good luck today with your, your last round and uh, in the future with your, uh, your chess career. All right, thanks a lot. All right.